Hello again, a new experiment for today. So I've been asked if one of these uh, little boost converters uh, LX, LSBST can provide enough power to an ASP camera. Well, I don't have one of that. I remember that ASP uh, camera is working either 5 volts or 3.3. So I think, uh, I think we can supply something with five volts in order to have, uh, an idea if there is enough power out from this device. Okay. So I'm going to use two of these multimeters to measure the current from the battery and uh, to the device. And instead of an ASP camera, I'm going to use a regular IP camera. This one needs 5 volts, you see here, and probably also have the same power consumption like an uh, ASP. All we have to do now is to improvise a kind of connector power supply there. So there's the battery here, and that will be the power out, which I will uh, connect to this five volts micro usb plug oh too much perfect so what i have to do is to try to connect plus and minus to this connector here to show you it's a very good idea to thin the contacts before so probably the red it's plus and it is and the black it's the ground so, and in here will so this guy here it's on 10 amps connected to the output to the camera now i need the cell that's a typical 18650 i can even check it for voltage before 4.8 zero eight so i consider this a pretty charged battery or cell to measure the current doesn't really matter where you plant the ammeter the current meter it's on the plus or minus wing let's call it doesn't really matter now with this one connected now we should have around 180 micro amps if everything is fine there we go and of course we have 2.97 milliamps why is the short here something hmm funny let's check the output voltage oh 29 way too much okay let's put it down to 5 volts there we go like that 5.2 Let's test the standby current. That should be around um, one, 180 microamps. And of course, 163 microamps. All right, let's go back to 10 amps. So the module is working. Maybe I should have another for checking the voltages. So let's check for the output here. That's the boost converter inverter output 5.23 volts okay ready let's connect the camera we should see a drop in voltage of course uh, okay not not so much i'm impressed it's still 522 there we should hear the camera doing some uh, speeches so the camera it's taking like 270 300 milliamps at 5 volts the voltage is steady system starting up connecting please read perfect and it's taking like almost half amp from the cell so i may say 320 milliamps to the camera Oh, so my camera now it's looking like being offline. Why? We have a good voltage there. Everything should be just fine. Nothing. 
Once again. Shall we raise the, the voltage a bit? Let's try. Almost 6 volts. I'm pretty sure the cell is it's okay. Charged, I mean. So, uh, starting up. Please read. 335. Okay, so it's looking like we don't have enough current. Hmm, that's funny. 20 milliamps here. I have a peak of almost half amp here, but I don't hear the camera connecting. Okay, and then I should hear the camera connecting to the network. No, same story. It's looking like there is not enough power for, uh, you see, there is not enough power for the camera to connect to the network, the Wi-Fi card or something. So this one can deliver around 330 milliamps. Doesn't matter it's from the cell or it's from the power supply. Let me raise the voltage to 5 volts and let's follow the camera currents. Okay, there we go. That's the, where is the output? Minus. This one goes away. We don't need that. Obviously, this is the wire going to the camera. Minus, yeah, plus going through the meter. Of course not. That's the guy. There we go. 145 milliamps going up to 600 and something there. It was a peak. There we go. A 500 peak. Same. Same reaction. But a steady 360. Same current. Exactly the same current. This showed me nothing, it's in the air. Still offline. How comes? Hmm. Okay. Directly to the camera. 5 volts, 5.10, and there we go. 210. Oh, 660 something there. That's it. Now it's working. So, without this guy in series. Okay, I'll get rid of that. Let's see now. Of course, the camera is working. Look there. Woo! Perfect. You know, next step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of any extra wires in between the things there. Let's try like that. Let's take this out. We don't need it anymore. It's very clear. It can be a matter of connections and connectors so we'll just simply connect the inverter to the cell and to the camera all right plus output plus so now i don't care about any currents and blah blah blahs so it's very possible the internal resistance of the wires and the multimeters you know to to limit the current or anyway Something like that, and power on. Let's see. Come on. Yes, yes. So it was just a matter of connectors. Now I may say this camera it's working by itself with this inverter so it can supply without problems the power needs for uh, this guy let's see dc maybe i can measure like that yeah 140 milliamps according to this but you know this measures 40 amps so it's no way we can have a clear idea about the current so yes it was a matter of cables and uh, connections here let me try with this guy on amps don't go away once more because i'm really curious okay come on up so we only have a m meter in between the output of the inverter or converter to the camera come on lazy starting up 
Perfect. So I believe this was the problem, you know. This was the problem and the cables, you know, they are uh, wasted or something. Anyway, so now we have a steady uh, 270 milliamps going to the camera. And, you know, that's it. Is this little guy able to supply an ASP camera? Of course it can. Look there. And... Uh, I don't see any problem to have more power sucked from. Let me see if I'm using if I'm using the application and try to move the the motors. What's happening? Camera, it's online, of course. 150 milliamps. So oh, I'm I'm pretty sure this was the problem. All right. There we go. So let's follow the current. Okay, it it goes for a while to half amp when the motor is moving, but it's working. Look there. It's moving. Obviously it's taking a little more power. 500 milliamps. Yeah. So it can supply more than 330. Absolutely, yes. You see, the, this little cell now is giving all the juice to the camera. Hello. Hello there. It's me, Picasso. <laughs> you see, people, so the standby current is like 280 milliamps. That's nice. Okay, so that's it for today. And I hope the experiment is useful. This little guy can go up to 500 milliamps. I'm sorry for this guy. And probably the cables are a problem here. I'll check it uh, later. Anyway, so this uh, module, it's more than able to do the job. You saw that it can deliver 500 milliamps without a problem from a single 18650 cell okay that's it for today i hope it's useful see you soon with some other stuff and in the meantime please subscribe to my channel push like it's very important and like usually i'm waiting your comments and you see have fun bye bye